Okay, so I've been reading some of the literature, the old literature, about nuclear physics and the discovery of radiation and dis disintegration of matter. And uh, they're talking about uh, radium. There we go. Radium producing uh, neutrons. And so we have these bubble detectors, which are only good for a few months. So I'm trying to do a bunch of different experiments with them. And uh, let's just get one of them ready. Okay, so we keep them in the sealed container to keep them under pressure. And to activate them, you have to unscrew this piston on the back. Okay. And that depressurizes the uh, bubble chamber up in front. And, uh, okay. And it's active. Let's let's take a look at what we got in here. I bought these at the last Peace Conference that I went to. Richard Hall has a conference. And uh, for Fuser, Fuser Conference. And let's just take a look at what's inside of this package. I guess that's it. Let me check that with the Geiger counter. Oh. Radium clock dial. Okay. okay, here's our Geiger counter. And here is, looks like a watch hand glued to a piece of cardboard. And it is, it is super radioactive. Okay, so let's, um, I think I'm just going to, I'll turn off my Geiger counter here. And, uh, so that's definitely a radium dial. Let me, um, just put our bubble detector over top of that. And we will see if we get any bubbles in that by tomorrow. That should be very interesting, huh? There we go. Radium. The ultimate energy source. In the 1950s. Okay, so here's our radium clock dial. And uh, our bubble, neutron bubble detector. And it's been running for, uh, be careful about how I take this tape off, because he said don't put a lot of force on this. And it looks like there might be a bubble in there. Let's take a look at this under the magnifying glass. Okay. And I definitely see a bubble that is formed in this one. Just one. I don't see another one. So anyway, it looks like the radium dial... And, and by the way, it's not that radium decays with neutrons, I don't want to confuse that, but radium gives off a lot of alpha particles, and the alpha particles can uh, have fusion reactions with uh, lightweight uh, things like, uh, I don't know, nitrogen or chlorine or sodium, lithium. I'm not sure what kind of elements might be in that glue or the cardboard. I'm not, I'm not sure if carbon goes through it fusion reaction it might and uh, a lot of these uh, fusion reactions give off extra neutrons and uh, looks like radium dials uh, let's take a look at the radium dial is uh, the radium dial is giving off neutrons we detected neutrons on our neutron bubble detector okay very interesting huh okay so I guess uh, and this one's at the 21 bubbles per millirem neutron radiation. I don't think I see another bubble in there, but there's definitely one. So let me um, carefully compress, recompress this. I have this thing here that compresses the piston in there. And uh, 
We'll watch the bubble kind of go away as we compress it. Okay, see how it disappears as we tighten it down. It doesn't disappear completely immediately, but it takes a little while, but it starts to compress and disappear. Okay, and we'll put this back in its jacket and keep it under pressure so we can continue to do experiments with this. Very interesting, huh? Neutrons from a radium dial. Okay. Anyway, this is Dr. Janes, and thanks for watching.